Last Wednesday, Bounty Killer was cited as a social entrepreneur by the University of Technology, UTEC, Jamaica. The warlords work as dub plate specialist. <laughs> Their research found provided great opportunities for a more professional consideration in respect to how dub plates were treated within the music industry of Jamaica. If you're this great son, as your life your last, well... Bounty Killers inclusion was inspired by the students. So when I came up with the concept of doing case studies and I threw it out to my student community, uh, there were a few names. And I would say, when I say a few names, I mean two. Two names that came. And hands down, his name was Supreme. Miss, you have to include Bounty because not only is he an entrepreneur, he is a philanthropist that gives back to the community, all the communities, um, the inner city communities, and he's a, a the consummate social entrepreneur. Can you speak to how he responded when he was asked to be part of it? He was quite elated um, and really wanted to be a part of the research um, and particularly because of the fact that he did not complete school, you know, he dropped out of school from um, grade nine. So he made mention of that and the fact that, hey, this is about um, young people and if it is that I can contribute to their education, he was good to go. It was quite easy and it was just smooth sailing. Here's the warlord. Well, I never even knew that I was a social entrepreneur. When they came to me and tell me about social entrepreneur, I said, what, what kind of words are that? I never knew that there was such thing. So when I was doing all these social things, I never knew social development, you become social entrepreneur. <laughs> so when they came to they want to do the interview, all because of the purpose of the university and all these things, because they see me as a social entrepreneur. I said, okay, it's cool, because social thing is just a part of my life. We always have to do something to help someone around or develop some. It was good, and then they said they want me to come at, at the launch now. And so all this time you're doing, you're doing what you do best, killer, and Becoming you're being an entrepreneur, I never know. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you did a song from back in 94, back in 94. Yeah, that, that is, was 1994. That is being referenced in this whole thing. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's something that we saw coming up in the ghetto. We see a lot of people got the opportunity and they never make use of it, you know? And some people make it without education and feel like, okay, you never really needed the education, but the education is just your direction of the world. It's instruction of what might took place or take place in life, you know? So I just wanted to put my two cents on the topic of importance of education that time. I never think it would be such a classic. Because, you know, people want to hear what they want to hear. And nobody know want to hear about school when they're my big people. So dance hall never seem like a place where we embrace that type of song. But just the fact that we came from the ghetto and we know important education is to we as strugglers. I did the song. And then 25 years after, many of my audience fans came up and said that song was such a motivation to them. Yeah. And I realized that it really touched a lot of people's life. And now it did me to even parts We are at the university, being a part of the innovation. And a big supporter of education, generally yeah. speaking, aren't you? Yeah, but most definitely, as I said earlier on, I think education is that vehicle that can take you any part of the world from you put the key in the ignition. So education is like the movements, we can't move without it. It's communication, because if you cannot read, it's like you're in a place where you don't know where you are. Like, when I go to Japan and I look at the signs, and I don't know what that means in Japanese. So when a man or a woman cannot read, it's like being in Jamaica, but you're in Japan, because you don't understand what's going on around you. So education, life, and then lifestyle. So me see it. When's the, the recognitions? And things are coming in rapid succession yeah. these days. And that's again where but we can't get tired of saying it. Well, we're inspired by you, sir, and motivated. Thanks. And you know, we're not being getting either for self or anything, but 
This is a topic that the young generation not endorsed in education, in the music. We saw where a few people do it, but they do it like we're just doing it for doing its sake. They're not standing behind it as a person who endorses it and sing it, bring it, sling it, fling it, do everything with it. You understand, as you know, every chance I get to speak about education and development and upliftment and helping each other, I make sure I do it. It's a part of my lifestyle. It's not just a lyrics or a performance. It's a way of how we live. That's me. And, and that makes this all so special, this occasion for you then? Yeah, that's why this occasion is very special for me. And then the fact that this is one of the, 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 the top educational institute. It's not just a little high school around the road. This is UTEC, one of the universities of the country. So this is a big recognition. I take this as an achievement.